Okay. Did you get the amount of nine? I'm supposed to get that bonus check from Marty. He said it's coming any day. That sounds like a con from Marty. Yes, I did check the mail today. And no, we didn't get a check. We did get a credit card bill. Can you, can you tell me what you spent $2,000 on without even bothering to ask me about it? Well, I have to ask you every time I spend money now? It'd be nice. Yeah. Well, it was supposed to be a surprise. It was, it was a surprise. I'll give you that one. I was definitely surprised. It would have been nice not to be surprised at that particular moment, but, you know, I get used to it. You do this all the time. I don't do this all the time, number one. And number two, I was out buying a crib and a dresser for our baby, so that's something nice when it comes home. I told you that we were going to get the crib for my brother that Spence doesn't need any longer. I don't want my baby to have hand-me-down crap. My baby? Your baby? That is what I get so tired of hearing. Your baby, your money, your $2,000 that you spend without even bothering to talk to me about it. Oh, I'm the one that talks to the creditors when they call. Oh, so here it is. Here it is. Since, it's, since you're pissed off, this is my fault? I'm not working 12-hour days to provide for this family? This is my fault? Oh, I, I understand. That all becomes clear now. No, you don't understand. You have no idea. You don't know what it's like to get the phone calls from the people that call looking for money, and I don't have the money to give them. I can't answer the phone in my own house. You know who called today before you came in? The mortgage company. We are two months behind on the mortgage. Two months. They're going to foreclose on our house. They're not, that's ridiculous. They're just trying to scare you to get money out of us. Is that really what you believe? You really think that your actions don't have repercussions? You work so hard, and you are totally clueless. I'm going to bed. Here's the mail. Oh my god. What? It's ten thousand dollars. What? It's ten thousand dollars. Marty said I'd be getting a bonus check on the McKinley deal, but he never said it was ten thousand dollars. It was ten thousand dollars. <laughs> you know what we can do with this? I know. I know. I've been, I know. I've been through this whole thing. We've been up and so worried about the house. It's okay. It's okay. We're okay. It's ten thousand dollars. If I can just make a few more deals like this, just a couple more, I can give this family everything that it needs. I gotta, go. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Marty said I missed his plane. He's gonna kill me. Okay. Can you get my bags? Yeah. Get my bags, hey. Okay. Okay. Where are they? You're in the closet. Where to? Airport. No problem. I can't help noticing that your wife is pregnant. Is that your first child? Yep. You know, doing one month to the day. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. It'll change your life. It already has. Yeah. People keep asking me, am I nervous? Am I excited? Am I scared? A little of both. A little of all three. Right. But I tell you, I cannot, I can't, I cannot wait to be a dad. I can't hardly stand it. That's great, man. Too many guys today, they don't take their job as a father seriously enough. Yeah, I take it very seriously. I mean, I'm... I work hard. My family knows I work hard. My kid's gonna have everything in life that I didn't have as a kid. That's great. You know, providing for your family is very important. Take it from me. But I'll tell you, one of the most important things you can give your child is yourself. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> Check that out. Just what I need. It's not like I don't have enough distractions on the road. 
and have somebody stand on the side preaching to me. They just don't kill us. <laughs> Try not to. It's just the tip of the iceberg, gentlemen. There's a lot of money to be made here. And these numbers, they don't lie. Ten and a half quarters. Ten and a half quarters at over 11 and a half percent return. That's not chump change, and that's why our investors trust us with their money. And that's why they're reaping it. And you can reap it too. We don't pick losers. We pick winners. We ride them all the way to the bank. Thank you for your time. My partner Marty is going to handle any questions that you have. I expect to be hearing from you pretty soon. We do, brother. You know, kill it? long as we've been friends, I didn't know you had that kind of fire in you. I believe it, man. I believe in this. Just remind me after this is all over, buy you a big, juicy steak. Steak? Whoa, easy big spender. Tell you what, you keep the steak. You keep the steak. You eat that sucker. Give me that big green cheddar. Oh, okay, player. You ready for some green? I'm ready. Is that what you want, pal? I live for it. Do you know what that's going to take? Name it. Look, you're good at what you do. That's why I brought you in this business in the first place. Those fish were frying when we walked in this room. I fried those fish for you, Marty. Look, all I'm saying is, you gotta make customers where there are none. You gotta make people believe they have to have what you're selling. In this business, if you wanna make anything, you gotta be willing to invest everything. I mean, I know I got a lot to learn, Marty, but you make this sound like it's life and death. Come on, just messing with you. You did fine today. I'm not taking that away from you. All I'm saying is it's easy to get fired up when you're already in their pockets. You can't always play it safe. You gotta be willing to take some risk. If you do make some real money, then you come talk to me. What do you mean? Klosterman just invited us to a private poker match. Now this is the kind of social investment. This is what I'm talking about. This is the investment that returns major benefits. We get in there and play his game, he's much more likely to come play ours, right? Yeah. But it's going to cost you to get in. How much? Twelve large. Oh, oh, Marty. I know that's more than pocket change. A little. You've made a little money in this business already. This can be the perfect way for you to invest it. Marty, that's a lot of money. I... Look. You're ready for this. You get in, you put up your money, the results are yours. Whatever contracts come out of this deal are yours. You're ready for this. All the contracts. 100%. All the commission. 100%. Marty, don't play me. You're ready. If you're willing to take some risk. Let me see what I can do. Okay. I'm gonna go get a drink. You coming or not? I'll be there. In, I'll be there in a minute. Give me a. Uh, give me gin and tonic. I know what you like. Hey, hon. Ah, uh, no, I miss you too. Ah, uh, you know how it is. You know. Glad to meet you. You know, you want to buy this. You know, I want to sell that. You know, you can kiss my... <laughs> I know. I know. Listen, I just... Are you feeling any better? Did you, did you get a chance to deposit that check? Yeah, I know. No, 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 babe. I just... I knew you were feeling pretty bad. I just want to make sure you're feeling better and that you got a chance to do it is all. Listen. Talk to Marty. He said that uh, 
I'll be willing to invest a little bit more money. I can maybe get some extra cash or maybe another bonus check, but... I don't... That's not going to happen, babe. It's not going to happen. Listen, I've got under... I've, we're not going to lose anything. Don't worry about that. I've got it under control. Listen, I, I can't talk. I've got to... I've got to go meet the guys for a drink is all. I just want to see how you're feeling, babe. I love you. Bye. I assume you do know how to play cards. Who does it, Marty? Come on. Yeah, this isn't your twos or wild frat party game. This costume is big money. He intends to keep it. You're playing two games in there tonight. Marty, it's kind of pissing me off you treat me like a junior assistant. Are we a team or aren't we? Come on. in my rodeo. I think I'm gonna let my partner take this one. If that's okay with you. If he has the money, he's welcome at my table. Uh, is this a cash game or is it a tournament? Tournament, winner take all. All right. You ready to do this? As ready as I'm gonna be. Are you ready to gamble? I was born to gamble. Told you he was hungry. <laughs> Why don't you go have a seat, hmm? Hey, Jim, bring this young man a drink. I think we should make him feel welcome if I'm going to take his money. Get a, a scotch and a shot of tequila. Testimonia! Are you ready to honor us with your graciousness, hmm? Gentlemen. Give you the lovely Mona who will be dealing for us this evening. Okay, boys, we're playing Texas Hold'em. I assume you know the rules, and I assume you're good for your bets. Big bet. Show me the color of your pockets. Hey, there's, there's no phone a friend in this game. It's my wife. I'm still in. Give me one second. Hello? You did what? How much? I told you not to worry about that. I said I got it under control. Listen, I gotta go. I'm in the middle of something. I can't talk. All right, I'll call you later. Bye. All right, it's on me, right?
You were about to fold, but you decided to prolong it with a phone date. I don't know about the folding part, Mr. Klosterman, but... Look, no matter what happens, I mean, it's just a poker game, right? We're still gonna work this deal out. I mean, we're gonna work together, right? Did Marty tell you? I'm sorry, but we won't be doing business together. But that's enough business. Let's play some cards, shall we? You do realize that if you lose this hand, you hand over $12,000 cash before you leave this room. I don't plan on losing. Uh, but you see, no one plans on losing. It's just what some people do so the rest of us can win. I call. You got a full house. Tens and aces. You screwed me, Marty. You screwed me. Hear what you're saying? You completely lost your mind. Marty, you knew the deal with Glosterman was a bust. You knew it the whole time. Would you bring me out here just so I could lose more money? Is that what you think? I'm beginning to wonder. I told you he was slick. He said what he wanted you to hear to get inside your head. Stop lying to me, Marty. Stop. You treat me like an idiot one day, and you introduce me as your partner the next, and now you're screwing me, Marty. I'm tired of it. Klosterman's already got you so twisted already. You don't know what hand's feeding you, what hand's holding you now. This fight isn't between me and you. Yes, it is. This is about you. You just gotta admit it. You got beat tonight. I didn't get beat, Marty. Marty, I got screwed. I know when I'm being screwed. And I'm tired of your lies, Marty. My wife was right. You'll say anything just to keep me hanging on. That's your problem. <laughs> if you let your wife do your business analysis for you, <laughs> no wonder you're a loser. <laughs> we'll talk about my wife, Marty. Hey, you brought the bitch up, not me. <clears throat> That's it. This partnership's over. Being right, so over. Niall! Get off me. Easy. You tell your boyfriend to back up. This is my driver, okay? This is Niall. It's cool. Niles, why don't you go take Marty up to the house? Get him cleaned up. Easy, Sprout. Stay away from me! You need to come near the office, I'll have you arrested. Pull it! What do you want? Look, I just want to talk. You dealt that crappy game in there. You a part of this? No! Klosterman just asked me to deal because I used to deal at one of the casinos, okay? I just didn't want to see you doing two things you'd regret tonight. I wasn't going to hurt him. Didn't look that way. Look, you don't understand. Marty told me I was going to make money tonight, not lose everything. Well, you hardly lost everything. I mean, you can go home and get a new job. Lost, I lost my job. Without that money, the bank's gonna take my house. My wife will leave me and take my kids. I might as well be dead. If it's that serious that you're willing to kill your boss, I guess. I wasn't gonna kill him. I don't know. I might be able to help you. How are you gonna help me? Well, 
I know some people. You're gonna have to trust me on this one. I've trusted enough. I'm done. Look, I'm not a part of this. You can trust me. Meet me in two hours at the Shio parking lot. Got nothing else to lose. Good. See you there. Our audience does not like to be kept waiting. Audience? Where are we going? Well, that's information you don't need to know. In fact, I need you to put this on, please. <laughs> Why? What for? Let's just say that what happens here stays here. And that's just a way to ensure it. I mean, is this really necessary? I think you better put it on. Think of it this way. It's like making love with life huh? I'm not so concerned with how everything looks. Just feel relaxed and enjoy the ride. I usually like it better with the lights on. Oh, most men do. You might be surprised how sexy a little mystery can be. You can take that off now. I'm not sure I want to. I'm not sure you have a choice. What is this? An opportunity. Is that right, man? Ladies and gentlemen, you have each received a private invitation because you are all discerning gamblers. You seek entertainment that you can't find just anywhere. Tonight, I bring you that thrill. Our young friend here, he's lost some serious money in a poker match. Feels like he's failed his wife and unborn child. We're gonna give him a chance to win that money back and set things right with his family. Ready to play? Play what exactly? No, Mona, I just don't like listen, this. Just listen, just listen, just listen. No. It's okay. It's okay. Once I explain, you decide to walk, that's your decision. But at least you're my offer. This is a game we call Ten Pistols. Of the ten pistols sitting here, only one is loaded. All our friend has to do is pick one and pull the trigger. If he does so, we deposit $12,000 directly into his bank account. How did you get access to that? I don't gamble. I play to win. Do you understand what I'm offering you? This way, even if you don't walk away, your family receives everything you previously lost. But look at it this way. With only one loaded gun, you have a 90% chance of enjoying your earnings. So what do you say? What happens if I get the one with the bullet and I scatter my brains across this table? How do I know you're gonna deposit the money? Don't you trust me? No. Well, put the money in first. Hmm. You put the money in first, and I'll play your game. I can handle that. You really can't go anywhere anyway. Done. 
play. Let's do it. Now, to your roles in this little game. Wager whether or not our friend here is gonna walk away. Tony will take your bets. What's it gonna be? All bets are final? Now that's entertainment. It's just occurred to me that you're willing to risk your life just to replace the money you lost. That's a big wager for no gain. What if we raise the stakes? I don't think so, Mona. I'll just wait. Tony, give me five guns. Now, with five guns, you have an 80% chance of success. And three times the money for your medal. Not bad odds. What do you say? You say I'm taking my money, and my head, I'm going home. Home? Home? What do you mean the home that the bank's about to foreclose on? What about those credit card bills? Two car notes. Your wife's soon-to-be medical expenses. Twelve thousand dollars isn't gonna come with that. Talk about doing right by your family. I'm just offering a chance for you to do that. Place your bets. to a bonus well spent. Wait, wait. What about this? For a million dollars, you take a 50-50 shot. All puns intended. Not a chance, more. Those odds, those odds I can definitely pass on. Thank you, but no thank you. Pass? A man in your position doesn't have such leisure. If I'm offering you a million dollars, what do you think I stand to make in this? I have no intentions of letting you walk away. And if you don't value your own life, maybe you'll value someone else's. <laughs> I've had a very, shall we say, capable associate of mine watching her for the past few days. Up until this point, you've played along like a good little boy. And I'd really hate to resort to drastic measures at this point. But... All I have to do is say the word. You wouldn't. Don't try me. You can't. Oh, I can. <laughs> hmm, lovely. Understand that every step you've taken has led you straight to this point in this place. You're playing my game. And the only way you're walking away is to finish it. 
rejoice.